Google has announced Android to let Google I/O 2021. This OS is more personal, more private and secure, and works better across connected devices to Android system. Hey guys, what's up? You are watching Rohit's Tech Blog, and today we are going to talk about all the new features in Google's Android 12. So before discussing the new features of Android 12, let's discuss the main element behind the new design and the personalization touch of Android 12. That is Material U. That is a new design engine that let you transform the look and feel of the app with the available color palettes. The element on the screen respond to these changes very easily and flawlessly. This new design can flex to any screen and fit any device including watch or laptop or mobiles. The design does not compromise on the accessibility features that we get with the Android. So any app can blend in this new material you design. You also get a mode for every mood and those selections can travel across your Google account to other apps as well. So let's talk about the Android 12 new features. Google termed it as the most personal OS ever. They have divided the features into three main categories. Deeply personal, private and secure and better together. Android gets a revamped UI with which is inspired by Material UI. The OS is so powerful that it will create custom colors for you if you change the background wallpaper of your phone. This clock is in tune with you. When there is no notification on the lock screen, the clock is in the center of the screen and is larger than usual. If notifications appear, the clock goes towards up and becomes a little smaller and displays the notification for you. So the quick setting page is also redefined to include Google Pay and Google Home. Google Assistant can now be accessed by long pressing the power button. The quick setting page includes toggles now, which also has a toggle for camera access and microphone access. So according to Google, everything is faster. The new CPU, which will come and the new mobile phones is engineered to be 22% faster. So let's talk about the personal privacy and security features on Android 12. Android 12 goes even further in keeping your information safe. They have a new privacy dashboard, which shows data of all the apps, like what personal data they access and when. This dashboard shows every app on the phone, including the Google apps. You can easily revoke the permission from the intuitive UI. A new indicator is added to show microphone and camera usage by any app in the top right corner of your mobile phone. Also, two new toggles are added in quick settings to block camera and microphone access to all the apps across all the devices, even if you have given the permissions earlier. Think of it as, as a global switch to turn off all the access for camera and microphone. That is really cool and I would love to see that feature on iOS also. So on the new Android 12, all your personal information stays on your phone, processed on your phone and then showed as a result to you, which includes the new smart reply features on Android 12. So all this processing happens on your device and it, it is isolated from the network. Also the whole engine behind it is called private computer core and it is open source for everyone to have a look and to inspect by the security community. Google has taken one step forward to make its all devices connected to each other and to work seamlessly. These devices may include Chromebook, your mobile phone or your Wear OS device and your TV also. So now you can unlock your Chromebook with the help of your phone. Your phone just needs to be near your Chromebook and you can unlock it easily. Also, once connected, you can see chat notification from your mobile coming on your Chrome. Google has gone one, ahead, one step ahead by building the TV remote features into your phone. You can now use voice search type on your phone so that you can binge watch your content without worrying for the remote. You can lose your remote now. Also, Android Auto Wireless will be supported by many men, auto manufacturers. And to take one step ahead with the connected cars, Google is launching Digital Car Key this fall. So with digital, digital Car Key, you can unlock, lock and start your car with the digital key. It works with NFC and ultra wideband technology. It's super secure and easy to use. 
you can just walk up to your car and ready to go. It is launching this fall with Pixel and Samsung Galaxy devices with select car makers including BMW. Also, if you want to give your car to your friend, you can easily share your digital key with him without worrying. In Android 12, Google has added extra dim mode, which will be really helpful in the night when you are sleeping with someone right next to you and you would not want to disturb them with your screen light. So you can check your phone with the extra dim, dim mode and it will lower the brightness to an extent that it does not disturb anyone in dark. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification icon so that you can get notified whenever I post a new video.